From the pristine valley to the grimy oil fields, that's a choice some Flathead Valley residents have to make as they leave their loved ones hundreds of miles away in search of good paying jobs. Good evening everyone, I'm Angela Marshall. Because of the sluggish economy in the Flathead, residents are turning to the Bakken oil field in North Dakota to keep their families afloat. In tonight's special assignment, Katie Harris, Katie Harris spoke with two families who have turned to oil to survive. Imagine growing up with your dad leaving home and working hundreds of miles away in North Dakota for weeks on end. For one Flathead Valley girl, that's her reality. I would rather him be here and not for us not to be comfortable and cut things out instead of him being gone. But on the other hand, there are people like John and Gina Hale who say the money is worth being away from home. It's just nice to be able to like pay all the bills and have money like left over to do whatever or pay off debt or you know just it's just nice to have that money and it's definitely worth it for the time that he's gone. The Hales are expecting their first child and are getting accustomed to life with John gone for two weeks every month to work on an oil rig. His prior job was working in construction before working in North Dakota. The crash of the housing market left John scraping the bottom of the barrel to pay bills. That's when he decided it was time to head east. I know it was a lot more stressful before I went over there, money-wise. Over there, it's just, I know I'm going to get like 90 hours a week, so it's just a con consistency. And then there's Kent McClellan. He worked as a paint contractor for over 30 years. When the economy took a nosedive and painting all but dried up, he needed a new job quick. And now he's a truck driver in the oil fields. You know, I mean, we basically spent our savings, we basically used everything that we had, you know, and now we needed to, um, we need to make decisions and like quick. Yeah. Families like the Hales and McClellans could have ended up in dire straits if they wouldn't have gone east. A Flathead Valley economist says sending your loved ones east is actually doing wonders for our economy. The majority of their paycheck comes back to the Flathead. They make their house payment or pay their rent. They buy groceries. They put tennis shoes on their kids' feet. They go to the movies, they go out to dinner, they put gas in their tanks. Yeah, it's got a major ripple effect through our economy. While the oil boom continues, families like the Hales and McClellans can only be together part-time. You know, you, you're not involved in, in life. You're not involved in their lives. And you miss that. You miss what they're doing. You miss the school. You miss the activities. You miss their accomplishments. Still, it's a sacrifice Kent McClellan is willing to make to keep his family housed, fed, and clothed. In Kalispell, I'm Katie Harris for Montana's news station. The Bakken is responsible for tremendous job growth, a significant factor in today's tough economy. In fact, North Dakota's unemployment rate is currently the lowest in the nation, and demand for workers of all types shows no sign of letting up anytime soon. 